Hey, welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. I'm your host Demon Steeler and we got a great show for you guys today. I'm going to be making a demonic hamburger that's going to have some bacon in it, some cheese, some beef patties and some mushrooms. And to go along with that, I'm going to have some nice rustic sautéed potatoes. So come on, let me show you how we go about it. We're going to start with some beef mince. This is about 500 grams of beef mince and this is really good quality stuff. So, you know, visit your local meat guy and get a good uh, uh, beef mince. The next thing we're going to do is add some onions and uh, garlic. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, since I don't like to really chop the onions very f uh, finely, I grind them in this grinder. I'll use about one and a half onions for uh, this much beef. So once you're done grinding the onions, they look a bit like this. Nicely, finely ground up onions which you add to the beef. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take some garlic which I have uh, peeled. Uh, you can generally buy these at any vegetable vendor, supermarket. You even get them pre-peeled now so you don't have to hassle yourself. And I'm using a garlic press. Uh, once again, you can finely chop it up and put it in if you like, if you don't have all these uh, tools lying around handy. So I'm going to crush some of the garlic now. I'm using about uh, 4 or 5 cloves of garlic for 500 grams of beef. Uh, again, you can add some more if you prefer to have a nice garlicky flavor to your meat. Like I said, the egg binds the meat together and you know you have a nice strong patty. So break an egg into it. There you go. Uh, we add a little bit of salt and we add a little bit of pepper for flavoring. Once again, you can go crazy with the pepper if you like it a little more peppery. And I'll add about a small teaspoon of salt. You can also additionally add any other herbs or ingredients that you like. You could add your cheese in the burger, you could chop up olives, jalapenos, whatever you like. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard powder because it gives a little bit of zing to the burgers. So just add about a small amount of it. Nicely. Now it's always good to do this with your hands. Uh, I'm going to just do it with a spoon to get all the ingredients sort of uh, mixed together and then I'll mold the patties with my bare hands. You know, just to get all those flavors in. This is the really fucking heavy metal part of it. And what we're going to do now is mold these into some nice burger patties. You can use a mold, but I generally like the nice rustic look of a handmade burger patty. So you take about a, well, it depends how much, how big you want the burgers to be, but say that's about 100 grams maybe. And you just mold up a nice burger patty like that. Okay, so we've got the beef patties made. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the freezer for maybe about 30 minutes till we get all the other stuff done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to prep the mushrooms and the potatoes. And that, my friends, was the massacre of the mushrooms. Well potato, yum yum. And what we're going to do now, the final part of the preparation, is to get our bread ready. So I've got two kinds of buns. I've got a whole wheat bun and I've got a white bun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. Let's do one white, one uh, brown for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some butter. Butter. And what we'll do is we'll only butter one side of the bread. Yeah, so a little butter on there. And I'm using Nutralite butter, which is a low cholesterol butter. You can use regular butter, there's no problem there. And once we do that, we will take a little bit of parsley. So just sprinkle that on lightly there cheddar cheese which I'm gonna slice 
then put that on the bread I like the flavor of cheddar cheese it's really nice uh, you can also use uh, blue cheese you could use pizza cheese you could use parmesan cheese so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven soon but for now that's pretty much all the preparation we need to do let's head to the kitchen and start cooking now so first what I'll do is I'm going to make the mushrooms what I'm going to do is turn on the gas Duh. okay I'll do a medium flame I'm going to put in some butter I've been watching a lot of MasterChef Australia put in the butter in the pan once the butter is getting heated what we're going to do is we're going to add the mushrooms to this now Nothing like butter and mushrooms, that's a fucking winning combination. Gonna add the mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms. Yeah, there you go. Salt. Some pepper. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna start to sweat and gonna release water. That's what the salt and the pepper does. And then we just let that sort of cook in that water. Let the water sort of dry up. You just turn it. And this, what looks like a lot of mushrooms will become quite a, a smaller number of mushrooms because it shrinks. So what I'm going to do simultaneously is make the potatoes since I've got 10 minutes to kill. Again, I'm using a bit of low fat butter. You can see that sizzle. And remember, we got a lot of potatoes. We got almost seven potatoes, eight potatoes. Yeah. We're going to salt these up as well. Parsley, some rosemary. To get nice herby flavor. And maybe even some Italian seasoning. Now what we'll do is, we'll drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, that's good. And you can mash them around, let them, you know, get a little broken down, like a little bit of mashed potato feel to it. And as well as get nice and golden and crispy. It's almost like mashed potatoes, potato skins, potato wedges all rolled into one. You can see the mushrooms starting to release water. Alright, so what we're going to do now is add a bit of Parmesan cheese to the potatoes. Uh, that's going to give them a lot of flavor, a nice cheesy flavor to it. So, a nice generous mix of Parmesan cheese on top. I know most people use Parmesan cheese as uh, as is on top of something once it's cooked, but I don't know. I've always liked to cook the Parmesan cheese into the dish. Uh, works for me, may not work for you. If you like, you could always sprinkle fresh or uh, you know canned Parmesan on it once it's done. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put whole garlic just to give it a flavor. I don't want little pieces of garlic in my mouth. Uh, so put a few of those in there and just let it, you know, get the flavor. We're going to add the gin now to the mushrooms. Nice portion of gin there. And watch it as the alcohol cooks. You can yeah, flambe it a bit. Looks really fancy, impresses your relatives. The mushrooms flambe. Okay, so our potatoes are just about done. They've cooked in well. Uh, always taste your food so you know that it's, you know, good. Mmm, that's good. So we're gonna remove this now. Bigger skins with delicious, wonderful things. We're gonna put the mushrooms now in a bowl. Just keep them on side. also got some low fat bacon well not low fat it's got no fat the fats all been cut off but uh, you can get regular bacon if you like it's uh, a lot of people find it a lot tastier so we're just gonna fry up this bacon really slowly nicely on the gas nice juicy chunks of bacon and we're gonna 
now fry the burgers. Also at the same time I'm going to turn on my oven where I've got my bread in with the cheese. So let that melt nicely. So heat a pan and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Just heat the oil in the pan. It's always good to have nice crispy bacon so when you bite into the burger you get that crunch and the saltiness of the bacon and that beef and the cheese, oh my god, I'm already hungry. We're going to fry them two at a time. Alright, so we got some nice lettuce. Lovely green lettuce that we're going to use in the burger. Meanwhile, I think my bacon is starting to get done. Turn it around. Yeah, look at it, nice. Crisp, whoopsie daisy. Crispy bacon. And you see, the cheese is melting really nice. So I'm going to take out the top half of the bun. Because that's nice and done. But we want the cheese to brown. We'll remove that for now, from here. Yeah. Burgers are cooking nicely. But these burgers are pretty healthy because they're not deep fried patties. Uh, you can always use you know, lean beef. Uh, you can always use low fat bacon with, with like I'm using with less fat on it basically. Keeps the calories down. You can use whole wheat bread, uh, make it healthier. As you can see there's not much oil from this bacon uh, compared to bacon with a lot of fat on it. But this is good. English mustard. Put a little mustard on the bun. A lot of flavor there, a lot of mustard. There. Mmm. Melted cheese. Nice lettuce, green lettuce. Alright. I think our burger patty is almost done. Make sure that you get all the water juices out of it. That looks about done. Take that out. Place it on. That's delicious. Turn that off. Got two nice burgers there. Let me take a nice juicy piece of bacon on that. Look at that nice crispy bacon. Just add the mushrooms on top like that. You can also eat the mushrooms as a side dish. Just sprinkle it on the burger. Keep it down. And you just close. Close it up real nice. The rustic mashed potatoes. And there you go. The demonic burgers with lovely rustic sauteed potatoes. Boy, that looks good, doesn't it? Mm, that's nice. So, we just gotta wait for Nerf Cell now and see how they enjoy this.